What's up, Xbox World? Xbox Universe, Xbox Mob, Xbox Squad, Xbox Geeks, Xbox Freaks. So I put it. Not that beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. Look, you know, you, you, you know, in a, you know, you know, in a marriage, right? When a man and a woman gets married, right? The two shall become one, right? <laughs> so you're playing around. All right. You're like, okay, what am I getting at? All right. Listen to this. See, it's about that infrastructure action. See, we see Xbox fans. We don't talk sales over here in exclusive. We don't talk sales over here. We talk infrastructure. We. Xbox fans are getting spoiled. And PC, listen to this. The marriage, the, the marriage just got even better. Mm. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Says here, Microsoft Store will soon let you install PC games wherever you want. Mm. What a marriage, huh? PC and Xbox. And then you throw the Steam Deck in, in throw the Steam Deck with that with, with that marriage, and then we we, we got a family. <laughs> Says here, Microsoft Store will soon let you install PC game where PC games wherever you want. Mm. Good news for Xbox game modding. Oh boy. Let me here's here goes the article. Says here, Microsoft is testing an update. To its store, which would let you install PC games to any folder, including those downloaded via Xbox Game Pass for PC. It's great news for modders who have sometimes struggled to work around the Microsoft Store and its restricted Windows app folders. Another addition will let users verify and repair files similar to Steam and Battle.net. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> The Verge was the first to hear about this plan, which Microsoft has now subsequently confirmed. We want to provide players with more options to customize their experience in the Xbox app. An Xbox spokesperson said, we'll continue to share updates as we launch additional features. Yeah, the marriage just got better. Mm. Microsoft will likely firm up these plans officially in the coming days as the company nears the key launch of Halo Infinite. Any fancy, any fancy, <laughs> what he said, anyone fancy modding that? <laughs> okay, and here go the comments. Let's do this. Let's for the comments. <clears throat> usually, usually on your game or when they say when they say 10 or 0, you know there's a lot, a lot of comments, right? Alright, here we go. One comment go like goes like this. Another 50 years at this rate, and we'll have caught up with in install shield from the 90s. <laughs> Someone said, finally. Another person says here, uh, to be fair though, it's actually a very cool improvement. Just massively overdue. Another person say, good, Game Pass on PC could use a little love. Well, it just did. So, next person here said, oh nice. Will it, will it still lock the installed directories or do you actually get control over what gets installed and the ability to delete botch installation? Ah, the magic word are in the link. Any folder of their choice with unrestricted access. Great news. <laughs> Another person here says, uh, good. With any luck, this might give us a shot at some Linux slash Steam Deck compatibility too via Proton that would be cool mm. PC Linux and Xbox that's all you need for your gaming people <laughs> anyway another person here say says a, a dual boot between Windows 10 and 11 see dual boot what dual boot is you take one hard drive you create a partition you put Windows 10 on one partition and Windows 11 on the other dual boot anyway says currently currently neither and currently and neither epic nor xbox games pass will share install between os it is a real pain everything else likely you play steam gog just detects the existing install downloads the saves from the cloud and gets going all right next person here says we got we got we got one neck we got we got someone that's optimistic. Listen to this. 
He says, where did Microsoft say they will allow installations in those custom installation locations to be user accessible, modifiable? They didn't say these custom locations will, will behave like mod modifiable window apps folders where you can mod the files or like Windows app folders where you can't edit. It's the verge that's saying unrestricted access. Hopefully they do get understand their information right as it be a really good change. <laughs> Another person says, uh, the verge claims Microsoft said so, but true, best to wait and see before getting too excited. Action speaks louder than words. Facts. <laughs> Another person says, yes. <laughs> Another person here says, uh, to clarify, this has zero effect on Xbox modding. It just means people don't have to curse word around trying to bypass the mysterious restriction Microsoft slap on, on that one folder. It also is not clear how modifiable Halo Infinite will be. It is just not using a common engine. And two, let let set like and and tools set like others commonly modded games. So it's quite likely very little can be done. Hmm. And then another person says, at last, I had to re-download Back for Blood three times already. <laughs> and last comment here. Person said, well, this person says here, uh, as long as it doesn't break the sanity of these games for console players with PC players, affecting multiplayer in a negative way through mods. Well... <clears throat> That's the end of the article. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> anyway, so that's the end of the article. Um, This was great news for the um, PC players, Xbox players. And this is all about improving the infrastructure, you know, uh, of, uh, of, of the Xbox gaming community and PC. And then you... you, you you add you add you add uh, the Steam Deck with Linux and um, uh, Proton to that. Hmm. Yeah, be a nice little union. So um, uh, Microsoft is just improving the infrastructure. That's all they're doing, you know. And this was you know this was highly overdue. Like I told you before, they be listening to listening to the comments of you know of their consumers, and then they act on it, you know. So more up there will be more updates to come with this news being be, being uh. With this news being announced, so uh, I'll let you know what's going on between the Xbox gamers and PC and Steam Deck and uh, Proton. But anyway, nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek playing for Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.